Hey guys, Zach Bassi, and welcome back to the channel. And I have built a new computer, and it is a monster. Before I tell you about my new computer, let's go back to the beginning so I can tell you how I actually got there. This gives new definition to me when it comes to the term ignorance is bliss you know mind you my my older computer I loved it I built it about three years ago it was awesome and I, I think I've upgraded once or twice I've had uh, uh, more RAM added and then a better graphics card that's about the extent of it a 20, 2070 that I had in there before I had a 1060 I don't think I've seen major difference in the upgrade but anyways that's what happened. Now, I got to California and El Haj has this computer in his uh, office and it looks super dope. He is a YouTuber and then he shoots a lot of real funny skit videos. If you guys don't know who he is, you better go check him out right now. I uh, thank uh, Job for shooting. I don't have to thank him for you. what you say? <laughs> thank you for shooting. Now, I got to California and El Haj has this computer in his uh, office and it looks super dope. I'm like, yo, this is pretty cool. I got to try it out. I dumped some footage and started editing. Everything was running super smooth. And I'm like, dude, uh, this is really cool, man. Like, we got some 4K footage, no proxies. This is great. Let me let me try to edit like in full, like um, in Premiere, you have uh, this little thing that you can set your timeline to full resolution or half or a quarter I think anyways I thought I was editing maybe in half or a quarter come to find out the whole time I was editing in full resolution and that thing did not skip one time my mind was I was like dude I need some of this in my life because at first I really wanted the Sony A7S III. That was my, the dream camera, you know, like everything, 4K 60, 4K 120. Man, you guys seen all the videos, you know what I'm talking about. But what's the use of getting this camera if my computer can't even handle the footage? I mean, I would probably pull the little string of hair I have left out. And then I realized, even though I saved my money to get it, that's not the investment I needed to make at the time. So I needed to build me a new computer. After, the, uh, after experiencing the fluidity of editing on a computer like this, as a matter of fact, check out the B-roll I made for this computer. System coming online. Are you ready? Hodge 2.0 online. RTX activated. Alienware standing by. Hit it. Liquid cooled CPU holding steady. Computer operating at full power. We got some epic content coming your way. Subscribe. Like, impressive, right? This thing looks super cool. Anyways, so I started doing my research to see what kind of components I wanted to put inside my computer. And then I ran down the rabbit hole, and boy, I realized how far behind I was when it comes to computing power and technology. Um, now, while I was doing my research, I realized uh, Ryzen, like uh, AMD, was dropping their new processor, the 5900X, supposed to be one of the most powerful consumer processors out there. So I wanted that. And not to mention the graphics cards, like I've been sort of keeping up to date with them, but I didn't realize how rare it was to get like one of the top ones, which was the 3080. Um, yeah, the RTX 3080, and uh, I could find I couldn't find this thing anywhere. I want I look everywhere, um, every website, black market. Okay, I didn't go to a black market, but 
I was really tempted because people are crazy out there. I'm scared. Finally, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll go with a lower end graphics card if yeah, I can't wait till January to get this thing done and come to find out. Um, I went to Micro Center. I, I wanted to talk to a tech and ask some question. I met Simon and then he was just telling me that, yeah, you know, we have some 3080 Ti's that comes in like occasionally. I'm like, occasionally? What, what do you mean occasionally? Was, and then he explained that they get daily shipment, but they never know what's on the truck. It just comes, either they have it or they don't. And I was like, okay, I'll come back tomorrow. He's like, well, you know, people lined up every day, you know, at this place to see if they can get them. I was like, what? So I made the decision that I was going to be at Micro Center at 5 a.m. in the morning so I can try and get this thing and hopefully, you know, I'll be in a decent position in line. But I got there at 5.12, I think, and then I looked, there was only one person waiting there. Dude, I got out the car so fast. I had uh, my blanket, my chair. Man, uh, it's really too bad that you, got, you guys can see it because Jamo was supposed to come and film all this stuff, but this guy never woke up. I mean, there's only so many friends that would wake up at 5 a.m. to just come film some cool stuff with you. But I'm not gonna name names. JMO. <laughs> he did finally make it uh, eventually. If you guys want to see the first part of this video, be sure to go check out my friend Jamo's channel. Um, he has, I have a link in the description, and he did a video about the first portion of me at Micro Center uh, getting the parts for this computer. I bought all the components, you know, of which I will link that in the description below, so you guys can check it out. And they told me the computer will be ready that same day. I was in awe. I didn't know where to put myself. So that I, that night I went back, you know, to my, to the micro center. Those guys are awesome. Like I mean, they took care of me. They were really nice, and then they got my computer built. I got home. I plugged this thing in, and I decided to try and edit. Whew! It was a thing of beauty, you know. I don't think I've edited anything in real time before because that's exactly how it felt. <laughs> when I was watching the playback, it, it felt like I was watching the actual video rendered, you know, and it blew my mind. I was so happy about this investment. It's not even, I don't even regret spending all this money on a computer. I'm very happy with what I can do and how quickly I can do it. My computer, this new computer is called the Kingdom Come Superman build. Like a little backstory is that the Kingdom Come Superman is an older Superman, um, but the difference is he's lost everything. Lost Lois Lane, uh, Barry White, the people that he cared about. He's just basically the only, he's the only one left. And he's still Superman. And then he has this black S on his chest. I think it represents the people that he's lost. Don't, don't quote me on that. But in the back of my mind, that's what it is. That's my new build and I love it. And I recommend if you, if your computer is not up to par, it's best, it's best to invest in upgrading it before you buy like this big camera that you're not really going to be able to use the footage or it's gonna be annoying and clunky to make all these proxies, especially if you film a lot like I do. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoy. You know, I look forward to creating some more content and then now that I have a faster computer, I have no excuse not to upload on YouTube regularly. Stay tuned and as we always say on this channel, have fun, be safe, follow your dreams and do your thing. Peace.